looking for fast, cheap, and reliable coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. Head on over to MuttReserve.com. They're awesome to work with. They got super cheap, fast, and reliable coins. Make sure you use code Poodle at checkout for an additional 15% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, we got the, got the Friday content. We got a new Zero Chill Master, some new Zero Chill players. We got the 50 coming today. One of the best 50 players you've had all year is being dropped today, so it's a good day overall. As you guys see in the top right corner, I did increase my level. I did increase some Chill Factor, guys. Get into the solo grind. I need level, I need chill factor level 20 badly. I want all that free stuff, but of course you can't get everything just yet unless you really go crazy. So I'm trying to take it, you know, as qu as easy and quickly as possible while also staying within a budget on it. So I don't have to actually go crazy to get it, but moving on, let me know what chill factor you guys have down below as well. I have six so far. It wasn't really that hard to get it quite honestly, but let's check out the new master first before we get into the rest of the video. But before we do that, guys, for today's pood miss shout out. We do have, let's see, let's see. We have Red Two Swing. Shout out to you, man, for being Pood Miss. Uh, for being a part of Pood Miss. Thank you so much for showing support in each and every video. Hopefully, the guy from yesterday gets back to us. Still waiting for his response, but make sure you go ahead and you go contact me if you do have Xbox. If not, I will re roll it. Let me know down below. And of course, guys, make sure to head on over to Mother Reserve. Use code Poodle for 30% off. There's so many good stuff. There's so much good stuff to get. We have Mahomes probably coming. Pretty sure Randy Moss is coming as well. A lot of stuff coming. You guys got any coins for that? Head on over. Pick up some coins at the discounted rate with 30% off. But yeah, take advantage. But yeah, moving on. Let's get over. So today's Zero Chill Master that we are getting is Bobby Wagon. You guys saw that already. I'm not going to be going over his car because I did go over it yesterday. He has three pieces for him. He has a Justin Pugh, Joe Hayden, and I believe a Shady McCoy. Let's go check these cards out real quick on the block. So here we go. This is Shady McCoy's stats. He has 92 speed, 93 excel, 93 agility, 88 carry. 74 catching, 93 change of direction, 85 break tackle. Let's compare them real quick to my Derrick Henry card to show you guys that kind of comparison. So they're the same speed. Sh uh, Shady's a bit more, has more excel, a lot more agility, a lot less carrying, better catching, better change of direction. So it seems like Derrick Henry has a lot more power, but a lot less agility, which is kind of how we expected the skill. Now, the difference is Derek Henry will get to 96 overall powered up, chemmed up with more speed and everything else. So, the Shumcoy cannot be powered up, and that's kind of what hurts his card here. Him and Kenyon Drake. If him and Kenyon Drake both had power ups, it'd be a lot. Like, they'd be really good. They'd have 94 speed off the rip. They'd be great cards, but sadly, they don't get power ups, which kind of hurts them a, a good amount, actually. Uh, they both got power ups. They're probably the best running backs in the game. But overall, it definitely sucks in all power-ups. I would really like to use either the Kenyon Drake or the Shady McCoy, but I really don't know if I could justify that. Now, let's go get to the uh, some of the new Zero Chill Drop players, for which I got the 50. So, we got, of course, now, we do have the new heroes. So, we got Justin Pugh right here. Justin Pugh, 93 overall left guard. He's going to have low 90, high 80 uh, stats. He's a decent left guard. Again, if you do do this set, it's not horrible because you do end up getting, of course, um, you end up getting some a decent left guard to fill in and just start your team. And then moving on, we have Joe Hayden. Let's check out his stats so we can see if it's worth it. So, so far, Justin Q.P. is a usable player. Joe Hayden is going to be usable. Not crazy good. Only 92 speed. Power up comes up pretty well above 90 zone. He will above 90 uh, man coverage and above 90 press. He's not horrible. But, of course, he's not a glitchy meta player that you need to have. And then for the final guy, it was Shady McCoy. So, we got Shady, Joe Hayden, and Justin Pugh. Now, moving on to some of the lower guys. We do have some newer guys. Let's see. Are any of these up yet? I don't see one. We have Rashad Perryman, which I don't see up just yet. Let's go to the next holder. We have Ronald Darby. He's one of the new guys for the Washington football team. No coverage at all. 90 speed. Not a great card in the slightest. At all. Wow, that card was bad. The card was real bad. Let's see what else we got. We got Rob Havenstein. He's a new one. Right tackle for the Rams. We guys have a Rams team. Um, really bad at pass blocking. Pretty good at run blocking, though. Decent. Nothing too special there, either. I mean, guys, you know how these cards go. These little cards are never going to be too good. They're kind of just going to be there. Take up some space. 
the higher cards are kind of where they're at. Let's see, we got Anthony Harris as one of the free safeties for the uh, Minnesota Vikings. Good zone, decent hit power, bad speed. Not going to be that usable of a card. Let's see what other players we can find for. We check out the 50. Okay, head it over to the next slot. Okay, we got Michael Glitchy, right tackle for the 49ers. He has great run blocking, bad pass blocking. Again, not great. Nothing too special there. And now let's go check out again Wagner's price. Let's go see if he's even up yet. So we do have some of the masters up. Of course, Derek Henry, 288. We got Charles Woodson in like the low 300k range. And then we got Bobby Wagner already filling in the 600k range. He will come down pretty fast though. If you guys are looking for Wagner, I don't recommend picking up a linebacker. But again, I, I told you guys yesterday, there are some snares in which a linebacker can be used. It's not common, but people do still use them sometimes. But that's about it, guys. Let's go check out the 50 players and see what we're working with there. And then we'll head on to this video. All right, guys. So the first 50 player, we have Larry Allen today. 95 overall. I feel like we've gotten so many Larry Allens. We haven't, but it feels that way. I feel like every year, it's just we always get Larry Allens. It's just one of the most common legends we get. He's super great, though. Super great run blocker. Going to be able to really break a hole down the middle. Great at pass blocking. Great strength. Going to be 96 powered up. Of course, powering these cards up aren't easy. So people made that pretty uh, clear last night. Like, I, I know that when people were saying I make it sound like it's so easy. That's not, I'm not trying to make it sound easy. I'm just stating the facts of if they're powered up. I know the 50 cards aren't the easiest cards to power up based on price alone. But the 50 players themselves are cheap, at least, usually. So, Larry Allen, these cards do drop around 2 p.m. Eastern time. Stay around, you know, stay, look for in-game messaging, look for Twitter notifications. Because as you guys do know, a lot of this stuff can be delayed a lot of the time. But Larry Allen's going to be the first one. I think he's definitely a pickup. I don't know if he's a must-have, like, this moment because of pricing, you know, let, let his price fall a little bit. But he is going to be a part of many God squads. Next, we have Rob Gronkowski. Gronk is back again with an upgrade. We had him last for the Superstar MVP a promo. But Gronk is going to be 96 overall powered up. He looks good. He doesn't have an 86 speed, 85 strength, 96 catching, 95 catching traffic, 95 spec, 92 short running, 88 medium and running, 84 run blocking. So he's great run blocking. Powered up chemed up. He'll have 85 run blocking. He will hit the medium route running, route running threshold with play fake. And he'll have 87 speed. He's not the best sign in the game. But he's close to it because he does have the run block. But he's not the best hunter in the game because we have Jonah Smith with a 92 speed, which is just plus 5 speed. You really can't debate that with uh, with route running and everything. Now, again, the run blocking is great. I wouldn't be opposed to Gronk on a 2 tight end set. I would be opposed to him using even your main tight end, but it's tough when you have so much speed right now. But he's good. He's going to be one of like guaranteed catcher. He actually has some separation speed now, although not the fastest. Still pretty fast. He's not bad. And, of course, we've got Sean Taylor, guys. This is the pickup. This is the guy you're picking up today, probably as soon as possible. This is the guy you need coins for. Sean Taylor, 93, uh, 93, 93 speed, 95 overall in general, 93 excel, 89 tackle, 92 play rec, 94 pursuit, 83 man, 93 zone, 95 hit power. Sean Taylor's looking like a man child. Powered up and chemed up, he'll have 99 zone. Now, what I don't like what they did was to get him to, nine, to, get him to 99 zone, you have to power him up. Power him up expensive. It's going to be really expensive to power him up. And they made it. That's the only way you can get to 99 zone. But if you do power up, guys, it's going to be a god. 99 zone, 94 speed, 96 hit power, and I believe he's like six foot three. He's going to have he's going to have crazy reach, crazy at jumping. So on top of being able to jump everything because he's in his zone, he also happens to be really tall and super glitchy in general. So you add that with a 94 speed, this card's going to be overpowered, and he can land the boom. He's going to make a lot of uh, footstep fumbles. You know, just peep, uh, peeking on people last second drop him as they're catching it as well as he's probably going to be great and stopping the run as well i'm pretty sure he has decent blocks just for his safety as well but that pretty much wraps up today's video hopefully you guys enjoyed me to the channel hit that subscribe button like the video comment down below poodle miss let me know what's going on guys and of course i know with my reserve use code poodle for 30 percent off the link will be down below in the description yeah thanks so much for watching guys i'm out peace